how to add event bright attendees to hubspot crm automatically so in this video i'll show you an amazing way that how you can automatically sync all your event bright attendees with hubspot crm automatically in real time so that whenever you want to follow up your attendees whenever you want to contact them you can directly do the same via hubspot you do not need to manually export the data from here and import it manually want to learn how you can do that come with me and i will show you the whole process step by step so this is my event rights dashboard and here I have created this event and I want whenever someone is going to register for this event, the person, the attendee should be automatically created as a contact into the HubSpot CRM automatically. And for that, I will have to build connection in between these application and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect. Well, it is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing Pabli dot com slash connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of pabli connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free task in your account every month in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i'm already an existing user of pabli connect so that is why i have clicked on sign in then clicked on access now and this is how i have reached to the dashboard of pabli connect now after reaching here click on this blue button create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation so here i'm pasting a name as when attendee register in eventbrite create contact in crm okay now click again on this blue button create and then you will find two boxes in front of you these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the attendee is going to register in even bright application automatically create a contact in hubspot app application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am creating an automation in between event bright and hubspot so that is why i am going to select these specific application all right now after selecting the applications you will have to choose the trigger application sorry the trigger event okay so i want whenever the attendee is going to register in an event the automation should trigger so here you can read triggers when a new order is placed for a ticket to an event so i'll go with this particular trigger event all right now click on connect we basically the idea here is we are going to connect event right with the pabli connect so that whenever the attendee is going to register the details will be captured via pabli connect and then we are going to send the same details to hubspot crm okay so connect with event right and you just need to provide the access of your event right account well i'm already logged in into my event right in different tabs so it is simply asking me for the permission and here you can see the authorization is successful and even bright is now connected with pabli connect i'm sorry for that even bright is now connected with pabli connect now it is asking for the organization well i have kept the same organization name and whatever the events i have created into my uh even bright account are started visible here so i just have a single event only so that is why it is showing the single event only and i want whoever is going to register for for this particular event the details should be captured here so i have clicked on save and send test request and here you can read the instructions that it is waiting for the response so once you have clicked over save and send test request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response so here it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means creating of a new attendee into an event rights event all right so i will go back to my event rights dashboard and here i have created the seminar on growing your business startup so i'll be copying the url of this particular seminar and then i'm going to open the same link in some different app and then I'm going to register here as a dummy attendee. All right. So seminar on growing up your business startup is actually my event. And when and where? Well, date and time is actually February 2nd, 2023, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. So I'm going to reserve a spot here and uh, I'm going to register here as an attendee. So this is the form via which I can do a checkout. So let me provide the details. Well, the details are already available here. The first name is demo attendee desk at the date public 2 
stage.com all right so i'm going to register into this particular event with the same email address with the same details all right so i'm clicking on this register button let me tick mark this checkbox and then i'm going to click on this button and you will see i will be registering uh, registering as a user as an attendee all right so order is placed okay so now i'll go back to my pably connects dashboard and here you can see as soon as i have registered there the details has been arrived basically the response is received so let me show you the details one by one so here i have this webhook id here i have the user id the endpoint url the action and the api url so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation of our integration is working absolutely fine now i was looking for the attendee details so that i can create a contact into the hubspot crm okay but i do not have received those details so how and from where i am going to get those details well don't worry we have received this order id okay and with the help of this id only we are going to fetch those details okay so how i am going to do that simply follow my instructions click on this plus icon and once again search for the event right only and this time i don't need to connect the event right once again i can actually connect it with the existing connection only and here the exist in the action event you will have to search this get attendee by on order id okay click on connect and go with the existing connections only which we have used earlier all right asking for the order id so i cannot directly provide this data i'll have to first remove this extra text from initial and from the end part and then i'm going to map this id okay so how i am going to do that well you will have to introduce one more step before this even bright step because we need to split that particular text okay so how i am going to do that simply search for the text formatter here which is an amazing feature of public connect via which you can perform various kinds of task within your text okay so i'll go with this text parser simply click on connect and it will be connected immediately asking for the text i don't need to copy and paste this text is i'm going to map it mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the data here in the drop down you just need to select that specific data and this is how the data will be mapped and the and what is importance of mapping so whatever the data you're going to add here this data will automatically replace when this automation is going to work in real time now it is asking for the text match after text match before okay so here in the first field i will provide this initial text basically the starting text all right so i have copied the same let me paste the same and in the end part i am going to add this slash okay so let me add the slash as well finally i'll click on this button and you will see how the i will actually get the order value well there something is wrong i have not added the full value i'll have to or add this order as well okay v3 slash order and again a forwarding slash as well now i'll be clicking on this button once again and you will see i will actually get the order well again something is wrong i'll have to check whether i have mapped everything correctly or not so basically i want to remove this particular data so in the initial step i am going to add this particular value okay so let me add the same all right and at the end i want the slash to be removed all right let me once again click on this button and wait for the response and finally i have got this id okay so with the help of, the, of this id i am going to fetch other details as well and if i click on this particular field i won't be able to access that particular data so i am going to first save it so that my automation will be refreshed so with this dummy value i have saved my automation and this is how i have refreshed it and here you can see after refreshing the automation the workflow i can actually access my data the fresh data okay so let me remove first this dummy value all right so i have mapped this order id clicking on this button and here you will see i will receive the exact data which i have used at the time of registration so let me check the name and the email address of the person all right so here you can see the first name the last name the profile email id the profile name and we even have received the date as well okay so again we have finally fetched the attendees details which i am going to send to the hubspot crm because here i would like to create a contact automatically okay so just like i have connected even right with pably connect now we are going to connect hubspot with pably connect so i have clicked on add new connection connect with hubspot crm and simply provide the access all right well i am already logged in into my hubspot crm so it is simply asking me for the access and this is how the author
catheterization will be successful and the HubSpot CRM will be connected with the Pabli Connect. All right, you can see it is connected. Now it is asking for a lot of details, but don't worry, I'm not going to provide all the data. I'm going to simply add those details which are actually necessary for creating a contact. So here I'm going to add the email address and the name and the last name. Okay, so firstly it is asking for the coaching institute. Well, I think it is a custom field which I have created into my HubSpot CRM, which is visible here. So I don't need to provide any value here. So I I have enabled this mapping and removed this existing ID. Okay, company number. No, I do not want to add the company name, not the date of birth, not the degree. I just want to provide the name. Okay, this is also, I guess, the custom field. So let me remove the ID. Let me remove the details of this particular field also. And let me directly search for the email. Okay, where I would like to add, add the email. Okay, so here is the email field. Let me click on this particular field. And this is how you you can map your email address so i have received the email address from this particular step so either you can search it from here or you can directly search it from the search bar as well and here we have the email address let me also search for the name all right so where is the name of the person basically the name field all right and here you can see it is asking for the first name so let me map the first name as well all right that is demo and where is the last name let me directly find the last name like this all right so here exactly finally i am going to map the last name of the person which was attendee okay so i have provided the first name the last name and the email address and then i'll be clicking on this button directly okay for now i'm just showing you that how the connections can be made so that is why i'm going with this few details only but just just in case if you want to add more details you can provide the data all right so clicking on this button but before that let me check my hubspot crm contact and here i do not have any contact finally clicking on this button and wait for the response all right so response is received going back to my hubspot crm and let me first refresh my uh, dashboard and here you can see demo attendee and the same email address. The same person has been created as a contact into my HubSpot CRM. Okay, so here you can see I have mapped those details. And as I have told you earlier, whatever the details I'm going to map here will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time. Yes, this email address will be replaced automatically in the next time. Okay, so now onwards, what will happen every time someone is going to register into the event bright even the same person will be created as a contact into the hubspot crm that too in real time why in real time because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay you just need to set this automation inside public connect to once and after that you do not have to do anything manually uh, simply close public connect and you can even sit back and relax public connect will take care of all the data in the backend just in case if you want to access this automation i'll uh, attach this shareable link of my workflow into my description box you just need to click on this particular link and sign up for free in the public connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your public connect account that too for free not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate made their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video